Hello everyone, and welcome to A Geek Must Have. This is another post bag video. Problem with this video is this was meant to be a part of one of my other videos, and the clips that are in this video got lost, and now they are found. So this video will start out with the next package when it should start out with the first package. I'm getting better at this, but even still I'm doing an awful lot of learning. So I thank you very much for understanding. And the next package in this post bag is a package that I don't know where it came from because the original barcode label was damaged. But I think I know what's in here. I think this is something also to help me with a couple of the steampunk projects that have kind of stalled because I didn't know what to do. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> it is a black tactical pack and this one is especially reserved for a portable uh, two millimeter 70 centimeter and 10 meter amateur radio rig it'll contain the batteries the rig uh, extra microphones a solar panel a solar charging unit a couple of other things so that it'll be like a go bag with communications equipment in it i've been i have all the equipment to put in here I don't have everything quite figured out as for electrical and solar panel and solar panel charging. Uh, I'll be learning that stuff as I go along. This is the bag, and I think I got this on Meh, that's M-E-H, for like about $19. And it's got a zillion straps on it. It's got a bunch of moly strips on it, double moly's in fact. It's got the one, two, three pockets padded back on it. Somewhat nice padded uh, shoulders, uh, shoulder harnesses with D-rings on them. These little things here are called D-rings. You can clip like lights and other things to it. The moly strips are so that you can clip all their packs and stuff to this if you want to. But uh, battery pack will go in the front, the radio will go in the bottom. I'll have a cord coming out the side, hooked along these moly strips on the side to hold the microphone. Uh, there'll be uh, another speaker in here to replace the speaker that's normally in the port the portable radios, the, the uh, Baofeng radios that I'm going to be using, usually don't come with excellent speakers. And that's the other thing. This is also going to be a repeater bag. It means I'll be able to set it someplace and it'll be a two meter repeating station. Somebody can connect to this and then it will simplex transmit over a slightly different frequency, extend the range of somebody's ham radio another five six ten miles plan on using these up at the cottage and the next item in this post bag from lady ada and ada fruit and you can tell because of the little flower that's here and i may have mentioned this before but i like to order stuff from their site on wednesdays because they have video cast that they do called uh ask a technician and uh Lady Ada and her husband host the show. They have a keyword for the day, and if you use that word, you get 10% off, whatever you have in your cart, with the exception of a couple of things like their gift certificates and their Ada boxes. They're a great bunch of people. They're doing manufacturing in New York City. They have a whole bunch of people working for them, and they actually make things there and distribute them. They're a high quality type of product. I mean, everything I get from them is exceptional. It's well wrapped and everything, and it always says on there, they know ahead of time. It's an educational electronics kit because ultimately I'm going to learn something from this. I think I know what's in here, but I'm not going to guess. Ah, yes. Excellent. Another Raspberry Pi Zero. These are Raspberry Pis, only they're called Raspberry Pi Zeros because they're very small. That's what they look like. An SD slot on the end there. They have a micro USB. They have a camera, if I believe correctly, yes. Yep, it has a camera pin right there. It has the 40 pin IO header along the top. It has the HDMI connector right here where it says, with the big letters there, HDMI. This is basically a Raspberry Pi. This will run a variant of Linux. I've been buying these on Wednesdays when they're available for five dollars 
Even the Chinese shops are selling these for $14 to $30 a piece. So this is a bargain. And you're helping the people in New York City, which I always kind of like. So that's another one to add to my kit. And this time, I decided to get one of the cases for the Raspberry Pi to put it into. So this is the case. Oh, there's the case. And it's built in such a way that the 40-pin I.O. header, when you put it on there, will stick through this hole that's coming out of the top. And that kind of pops out if you want to pop it out. It all snaps together. It has holes on the side for the uh, HDMI and the uh, power connectors. Also the, the programming connector, the, US, the micro USB connectors. And it has a slot on the side to allow the SD card to be put in and out. So you put this inside of here. And now you have a portable little Linux computer. And with the right SD card in there, you can actually run a small web server or a small API service on there or any one of a number of things. I don't actually have a plan for this yet, but it's nice to have some of these cards in stock for when you finally get a Raspberry Pi project the way you want it and you want to downsize it smaller. This is the combination of things you use to do the downsizing. I think I got a couple of those cases. Yeah, I got a couple of those because I actually have a couple of Raspberry Pis. And the last item in the Lady Ada kit is this one here, which I tried to find these on a number of various shops and I couldn't find them any cheaper than this one here. This is basically a, a USB 2 hub. Very small USB hub. But the nice thing about it is that it has a Wi-Fi capability. So the Raspberry Pis that don't have Wi-Fi on them, you can plug this into the USB port on the Raspberry Pi and you get additional ports. You get a little indicator here up at this upper corner to let you know it's on. And it's got a Wi-Fi circuit in it, which is one of the things that the Raspberry Pi is missing. So you can plug this in, plug in your keyboard and your mouse, and you still have a slot open. And it's a Wi-Fi as well, so you don't have to take up a USB port with a Wi-Fi dongle. I don't remember what these cost, but it's well worth it to put in my kit. There were some interesting items in today's post bag, and even though it was a little disjointed, um, I still enjoyed making it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please click on the like button, and if you have any comments or feedback, leave them in the comments section below. I do have a companion blog to this YouTube channel, and it is called geekmusthave.com. Now, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Take a little time off and use your Raspberry Pi to take over the world. Thank you.